We've got a new visualization for Power BI that's actually pretty cool. That and more is coming up. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and today's Thursday, which means we're going to do our information roundup like we do every Thursday here on Guy in a Cube. And you may notice that I got a little color. Yesterday was our SQL Olympics on the support side. It was a morale event where we do a bunch of different sports, just get out of the office. I'll be having a video that kind of captures everything that went on for that. All day yesterday, I was thinking, I need to get a hat. I need to bring a hat. And what did I forget? A hat. I have two states of color, white and red, nothing in between, and that's what you see here. Enough about me, let's jump into today's items. First up on the list is a blog post by Jason Thomas where he looks at how to create a hex tile grid map in Power BI. And he walks through all the steps that he did to create this report. He makes use of the synaptic panel created by the folks over at SQL BI, and he talks about how you can create the image and then import that, map it out with Synaptic Panel, and then put that into Power BI. So if you're interested in how to do this and how he actually created this report, go check out this blog post. Next up on the list is a blog post by Bill Anton where he looks at how to implement a logical AND on members of the same hierarchy within your tabular model. And he highlights that Implementing this is pretty easy from a DAX perspective without having to actually make changes to your model. Whereas if you have a multi-dimensional cube, there's actually some deeper understanding that you need to have in terms of modeling to actually implement this. So if you're into DAX, if you're into modeling, be sure to check out this blog post to see if it's relevant and helpful for you. Next up on the list is another DAX post. This one is from Chris Webb from Across the Pond. And he looks at how to implement dynamic chart titles in your Power BI report. He does this by way of a DAX measure, and one of the examples he has is when you're selecting items from a slicer, it'll actually change the title of the chart based on that selection. This is actually a pretty cool technique. So if you're looking to implement chart titles that maybe change based on selections that you've made in the report, be sure to check out this blog post to see a way that you can actually do that in your reports. All right, last on the list for today is a new custom visualization called Natural Language Narratives, and it's created by the folks over at Narrative Science. And this visualization is interesting in the fact that it will actually create text to correlate to the data that you're providing it. It's actually pretty cool in some of the examples that I've seen of it used, and it took me a second to figure out what I was looking at. It's not actually the, like, the chart visualization or the actual visual that you would think of, it's the text in the screenshot that I'm showing you here. You can go ahead and download it already. It indicates that right now it's only available for the service, but I, I haven't tried it yet to see if I can play with it in Power BI Desktop. The website says that that's coming soon. Either way, if you have a data set that's already set up, go ahead and play with this visualization and see what interesting things it can tell you. All right, go ahead and let me know which one was your favorite by using the poll up in the upper right. And as always, you can leave that down in the comments below as well. Also, be sure to like and share this with your friends. If this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Every Thursday, I do an information roundup just like this, where I take a look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me, and share that out with you. And every Tuesday, I do a technical item where I look at how something works, a new feature, or just how to troubleshoot something. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.